Hey guys, it's Emmy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use 3Teen, a free Vroid uh, software. Um, but let's go! So this is 3Teen. Uh, this is a really good software, free software as well. If you're just starting out VTubing and you don't want to spend money, uh, for example, on Luppet, because uh, Luppet can be quite expensive um, and you don't want to maybe commit to that just yet, 3Teen uh, is a great option. Now you can download 3Teen uh, on Steam. It is free. Uh, it's really quick to download and you can just search it up on Steam and you'll come up right up. And then once you have it all downloaded, uh, the first thing when you do open it, it will probably be in a different language. Language. So what I want to do is you're going to want to press this button, change the settings, go to system right up here and then change the language to English uh, before you start anything obviously so you can actually read what it's saying. Obviously when you first come in it will not have your avatar in it, uh, it will probably have maybe this avatar. Uh, so if you do want to download or if you do want to import your avatar into this, all you have to do is press this button here. Uh, and then go to wherever you saved your model. I just saved it to my desktop and then it will ever be what you named it. So blah, 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 dot VRM. Uh, and you can just tap this and then import it. Uh, it's actually really simple. You can also import it from VWord Hub if you would like. First you have uh, expressions. So you can change sort of what your face looks like. Uh, if you want it sort of happy, sad, uh, joy, and everything like that. Uh, this is a really great feature. You can also shortcut this to your keys uh, if you would like to quickly just change to a facial expression. Uh, then you have uh, move the avatar, so you can do different positions. Uh, so there's like handshake, lift one foot, fail, everything like that. These are really great for thumbnails if you are using it. There's also motions, uh, so there's obviously like twist, there's like speech, different speech ones. Um, and there's also dances. There's three dances you can choose from. If you saw my Vroid introduction, you would have seen that I did my Vroid was dancing in it. This is where you can get your Vroid to dance. Uh, it's actually really cool. Uh, but this is where you can sort of change what position your Vroid is in. Then effects. For example, if you're recording, these things will come up. So just different sort of effects um like snow fire everything like that i won't really use this that much i think but if you are but if you do are looking for some sort of easy effects uh this will be actually really cool for you then there's safe scene camera angles um this is really handy if for example if you want to just save a certain camera angle position you could just do it so if we just press read on this it'll go straight to the position that i want it to uh, which is really handy if you don't want to have to go to the position that you need every time. Then there is set background. This is important uh, if you want to add like a different background. You always want to make sure that you go to custom color. Then you, if you maybe want a green screen or blue screen or transparent background for screenshots, you can also change what background you have and everything like that. Uh, just make sure that if you are doing anything and you want to change the background that you are not in standard since you can't add anything to the background with this. There's the sort of props. Uh, if you have, for example, like a couch you have in there, uh, props, anything like that, you can just import it through here. And you have the most two important things, uh, the screenshots and the recording. So if you just press this, it will take a screenshot. And then if you press the recording button like this, it will record it and then you just press to stop. Uh, it's really simple. If you do actually want to find where your recordings and screenshots are, you're going to want to open up files here. For your screenshots, you're going to want to go to pictures and then 3Teen will be here and then all your screenshots will be saved. And then for your recordings, you're going to want to go to videos and then 3Teen will also be here. Now onto this side, then you have your toggle tracking. So obviously this will be how your head moves, your mouth, everything like that. Um, you'll want to make sure that you actually start this stuff once you've hooked up your webcam and audio. Uh, obviously I'm not starting it since I'm using Luppet and it won't allow me. But you just want to make sure that you can start and stop any of this if you want to. Then there's make avatar adjustments. I haven't really fiddled with any of this. Um, the most important part is the settings uh, where you'll hook up sort of your hate, your webcam, your audio and everything like that. Um, but you can sort of change different things about your body. Then there's the settings. Uh, there's like shortcuts where you can change sort of different facial expressions and everything. Uh, system, recording camera and everything like that. Then there's reset position or rotation to the scene of the camera. So if I just zoom in like this, it will just go back to normal, uh, which can be really handy. Then you have sort of the different angles of your Vroid. For example, I can move this like this, but if I want to go to the side, I want to press this and then I can turn my Vroid and I can just do a full 360. 
uh, which can be really handy for different camera angles. Then there's the in-use face tracking display with webcam image, webcam reset. So if you did something with your webcam and you kind of just want to reset it, you can just press this. Uh, then there's the leap motion settings. Uh, if you don't know what leap motion is, it is a hand tracking uh, sort of device uh, that you can hand track and everything. Uh, I've actually ordered one, so I will be doing a video on that and I'll be telling you which is better if you want to use Lupit or like a free software like 3 Teen with it. Um, so that video will hopefully be coming soon. Then there is display memo window and then open, open the description site on your browser. But that's all the basics uh, in 3 Teen. I definitely recommend you download this even if you aren't planning to use it for recordings. Uh, like for example, I'm using Lupit, but this is in very, very handy maybe when I'm making my thumbnails or I really like it for the different motions and dances. Um, so I use this a lot for that. Um, but yeah, I'll link this in the description if you do want to download it because I definitely recommend you do. But I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video and comment down below what you would like to see next. Um, but yeah, see you later. Bye!